Hey friends, welcome back to The Crow Boutique. My name is Courtney and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about being a psychic medium and a clinical herbalist and aromatherapist. Um, I haven't done a video in a little while and I apologize for that. I've just had a lot going on. We had a death in the family and then my dog got injured and so she's got a cone on now. <laughs> it's just a whole thing. So I wanted to pop on because I just did a reading literally right before I made this video with a beautiful lady and I thought it was going to be one thing and it turned out to be another. And I wanted to speak on the value of doing your work, your spiritual work, and how not every answer is spirit. So um, we did what we normally do. I introduced how the reading's going to work and lit my candle. And my candle went up in flames, like big flames. Like I had to put it out. It was scary kind of flames. And that usually happens for one of two reasons. Either one... Um, there's a big energy in the room or number two, there is an overbearing energy in the room. And this was an overbearing energy who was trying to defile my boundaries. And so I basically called my spirit helpers in and said, take them away. I can't do this. We're not doing this. This isn't happening. There are boundaries. They will not be crossed. Get out of my house. And so that is what happened. Um, and then the rest of the reading went really beautifully. Uh, we actually did not speak to spirit very much at all during that reading. We talked about doing our work and that work being living with regret, forgiving yourself, getting to know yourself and healing your own trauma. So there is something beautiful that happens in the spirit world when you heal your trauma. That trauma gets healed for every ancestor that came before you and every descendant that comes after you. So whatever you're doing as far as self-care and healing is concerned, I want you to know how precious and valuable and sacred that work is. You aren't just healing yourself, honey. You are healing everybody that comes from you and everybody that you came from as well. So know that when you learn to brush your teeth every day or you learn to, you know, take care of yourself um, in the physical and you learn to accept your flaws and love yourself wholly, that is sacred work. Now, I'm making this video because these are messages that I needed to hear myself. I am on a journey right now where I am learning to embrace and love myself. I am learning that self-care isn't selfish and that it does matter. And I know that all sounds like a cliche, but I want to tell you like where I was versus where I am. I was at the point where I was maybe showering like once a week. I had super bad depression and anxiety. I was not brushing my teeth every day and I will be going to the dentist on Friday to take care of some of the damage that was done. Um, and I was just living in a place of pure self-loathing. Now I'm still on that journey. I'm still learning to love and embrace myself. I want to be my own friend so badly. But I'm here to tell you that no matter what anybody says, becoming your own friend when you have lived a lifetime of trauma is one of the hardest things you will ever have to do. So if it's hard right now, honey, if you are struggling, I want you to know it's okay. It's okay. You're not failing. You are not failing. And you can give up as many times as you need to as long as you start getting back up again the next day or the next week. It's okay to lay in bed and wallow for a day or two. But then on the third day, I need you to get up, honey. I need you to brush your teeth and drink some water. I need you to let the, the sun, sunshine kiss your face. You can't stay there. I know that it's easy. I know it's easier to stay. Um, sorry, I wasn't expecting to get emotional. I know it's easier to just allow things, time, life to pass you by. But you really only get this one precious, sacred moment in time to be you. Even if you believe in reincarnation, even if you believe that you come back in the next life, you only get one of you in this form, in this time, at this moment. You only get to love this one person that you are. And so every little bit, even if it seems tiny, every little bit of self-care that you can do, every tiny little amount of loving yourself and accepting yourself and having compassion for yourself that you can do is the most sacred work. You aren't here to be a healer for everybody else necessarily if you can't heal yourself first. I'm working on it myself. The work that I do is sacred and precious and it helps other people. But the most sacred work that I'm doing is learning how to accept, love, and forgive myself for the things that I have done or didn't do when I was not in a position to do them. 
being in survival mode means that you don't get a focus on things like self-care and your dreams and your passions. And so you have to discover those later in life. And that starts with being a creative being. You have to start making something with your feelings, whether that is music or poetry or a journal or a conversation or a prayer. Whatever it is that you can create with the pain that you've been given, that is your sacred work. And I just wanted to remind you that you are all beautiful, sacred, beloved beings. I am so happy you exist, and I believe in you wholeheartedly. You've got to get up, honey. You can't stay there, okay? You have to take care of yourself because we need you. We need you. You are precious to us. So I know this isn't the most professional video that I have done on this channel, but I just needed you guys to know that the work you are doing on yourselves is benefiting all of humanity, past, present, and future. So it is your sacred work. It is not selfish, okay? It is the thing that you need to be doing in this lifetime. I want you to know that you are beautiful, sacred, beloved beings. I'm so happy you exist in my world. I will see you in the next one, okay? Don't forget that I love you. Thank you.